Go by one of Toronto's hospitals and you'll see sites like Toronto Paramedics side by side at Western dropping patients off or at Sunnybrook, where ambulances sit parked as a fourth rushes in. We're in a state of crisis. Union spokesperson Peter Shire with that response when asked about the state of Toronto paramedic services. Just did a survey amongst the membership, uh, and uh, most of them say that morale is lower than, than it ever has been. Something like 70% uh, say that it's either worse or as bad as it has ever been. A sentiment echoed by Eden Rosenberg, a spokesperson for the association that advocates for Toronto's paramedics. Right now, Morale has taken a couple of hits. Everyone's sort of pulling together to do the best that they can. Both say after being on the very front line throughout the pandemic, along with a strained healthcare system, it often means overtime, missed breaks, and burnout. The cost we're seeing uh, with injuries and, and psychological injuries that is going on by them extending themselves beyond beyond sort of uh, normal working conditions for a very extended period of time now. Shire says throw in several years of growth without adding the corresponding numbers of paramedics needed. That has sort of created a staffing debt that we've never repaid. Union officials say the service can't keep up replacing those who quit or retire. Durham paramedics are now hiring full-time and are paying more than Toronto. What we're worried about is, is the draw to, to a higher rate out there. It's definitely a concern. Uh, Toronto is a great place to work. We have exceptional medics. There have been issues at the Toronto Paramedic Dispatch Centre too. Last year we reported how in certain instances some waited up to eight minutes to speak with a dispatcher after a 911 call taker. As members of council we have no greater responsibility than making sure that we are investing in community safety and emergency response in all aspects. That from Mayor John Tory when he recently announced $21 million in extra funding for Toronto paramedics in 2023. Included as millions for dispatch and a community paramedicine program to divert 911 calls. It will also see 66 new paramedic positions created. That's called for in a five-year plan that launched in 2019 to boost the ranks. Up to 184 paramedics will be hired to fill spots left from retirements and resignations. We are constantly trying to find better and better ways to do things, but you cannot have a growing city and not have the first responders of all kinds. Tory and paramedics say more needs to be done. He reiterated previous calls for more resources at hospitals to accept patients brought in. Paramedics can wait hours for medical staff and they can't leave until then. Shire and Rosenberg say they welcome the budget infusion, but back at the union office, Shire adds decision makers need to urgently ramp up efforts to keep the paramedics we have and to accelerate hiring. We're good value for money for sure. Our paramedics do an incredible job. They work 12-hour shifts without a break. They definitely uh, save lives on a regular basis. For much more on this issue, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.